Sami Day here. If you are watching this live video, can you please let me know that you can hear me? If you can hear me, let me know. That would be great. It would be nice to get that feedback. Because sometimes the laptop, when you are recording, doing a live from the laptop, it tends to lag. I'm not sure why Facebook does that. But if you can hear me, let me know. You can hear me loud and clear. I'd appreciate that feedback. Anyway, I am Gloria Lamide, an empowerment coach from Glorious Glow Empowerment. I work here to enable you women specifically understand your purpose, to understand the difference between your purpose, career, passion, and calling. What's the difference between those four words? Have you merged all of them together or do you think there's a difference? If you think there's a difference, let me know in the comment section. Or if you feel it's all the same, let me know as well. That's what I do. I help women empower you to understand your purpose, to understand the difference between those four words. And that's why I have my program, a new program I have just started. It's called Purpose to Passion. Do you understand your purpose? And if you do, Okay, are you passionately pursuing it? Are you, pas are you um, <laughs> passionately pursuing your purpose? Or have you just let it be? Have you let it on the side? Because you're not sure if it's what you're meant to be doing. I think I called it purpose to passion, but it is passion. Knowing your passion, your passion to purpose. Discovering your passion will enable you to know your purpose. And what's this going to do for you? Once you know your purpose as women, it's going to help you reignite that passion you have within you. You reignite your dreams. You have lots of dreams. And you just sometimes life, you know, distractions in life. Um, being, being busy, always busy. We are busy as women, taking care of other people, taking care of the family, you know, both um, immediate family and extended family because we are created that way. We've been created to nurture. We nurture people. We nurture others. And in the process, you may forget your own dreams. You may forget your passions. So I'm here uh, to help you reignite, reignite them. Okay? Let's reignite that purpose. Let's reignite that passion. Because you never know, we all have a God-given assignment on earth. What would you say when you're asked what you did with it? Will you say you were busy doing other things? So as you rediscover your dreams, you also rediscover your purpose. Once you've found out your purpose and you want to make a, car, a business out of it, you can. So I teach you to reignite your dreams, discover your purpose, and position yourself to profit from that dream, from that dream of yours, from your purpose, to profit from it. Because some of us think the only way we can earn a living is by pursuing a career. Having a career is great. It pays the bills. It's important to have a career and pursue that career, earn some money, from it that is awesome at the same time you can also have your dreams on the side having your dreams doesn't mean that you have to leave your career i for example work as a teacher a secondary school teacher on the side at the same time i empower women i coach women so i haven't left my job but at the same time i'm pursuing my dreams so you can do the same that's what I'm, i work as to help you understand that you can do the same on the other hand if you want to pursue your dreams only i teach you to position yourself to profit make profit from that purpose of yours so it is possible at the same time so if you are on the side just watching other women and wondering how they are able to cope how they are you know relentlessly pursuing their dreams 
and winning every day. I'm here to tell you that you can do the same too. You can do the same too. It's possible for you. Whatever you believe is what becomes true for you. So as your coach, I help you eliminate any form of blockage. You know, all those limiting beliefs, all those gremlins, you know, we work on them to ensure they no longer hold you back. You get, you get rid of them to enable you pursue your God-given purpose, your dreams, and become fulfilled. Because when you are able to pursue your dreams, you are fulfilling your destiny. <laughs> your own destiny, not, not any other person's destiny, your destiny. You are able to fulfill your destiny and you become really happy. You become aligned with who you are. You become aligned with yourself. Last week, I set um, a challenge and a challenge, a four day challenge. And the first thing I said was, you must know your intentions. What are your intentions? Why do you want to pursue your dreams? Why do you want to live a purpose driven life? You must first understand your intentions. In whatever you do, your intentions must be made clear. Once you know your intentions, you now need to meditate on them. Take time to meditate on your intentions. Find out your why. Why do you want to do this? Whatever it is, why do you want to pursue this dream? Why do you have this as a goal? You must know your why. Once you've set your intentions, you meditate on why, your why, you need to write your vision down remember write your vision down and make it plain write it down i love to use a journal i also use a vision board so whatever suits you whatever method suits you go for it you like to write down get yourself a nice journal and write your vision down do you like um, to see things pictures graphics Get yourself a vision board, get lots of pictures, Put your stick your um, pictures on your vision board based on your dreams, based on your goals, and set a plan in place. All right? Once you've done that, you don't just stop there at dreaming. You don't stop at thinking and desiring or thinking about your intentions. You now need to put your words into action Begin to declare what you have written down. Okay, declare what you have written down. Talk to friends about it. Start declaring it. Even though you don't, you may not feel that way right now. You may not think you are able to. You may not think it's possible for you to achieve those things. But as soon as you begin to declare them, okay, you become aligned you become you position yourself into that into becoming that person and before you know it these things begin to manifest in your life i know that this this works because it has happened for me i have used this method the only reason why i'm able to talk talk to you about it is because i have used it myself you know some of you already know you already know my story before now I couldn't even, I was extremely shy and I couldn't even talk to, talk um, in public that much. I preferred one-to-one. -one. I was happy with that, talking to people one-to-one -one and all of that. That was my comfort zone. But on Saturday, I had my third event. Okay. The first event was in 2013 and I knew I was meant to do that but on that occasion i couldn't even address the people i invited to my event you know we had lots of women and all of that they all had a nice time we all had a great time but i went to everyone you know one by one <laughs> and spoke to them but i couldn't stand in front of the crowd to talk to the women to my people the people i invited Fast forward to 2020, 
2019 when I had my second event, the whole woman conference. There was I in front of the crowd addressing my audience. You see, and then on Saturday, I had another conference due to COVID-19. This conference was online. And again, I addressed women from different parts of the world. You know, people came and listened from various parts of the world. And it was great. We had a great time. We all had fun. We all enjoyed the conference. What am I trying to say here? What I'm talking to you about, this method I've just listed out to you works. Okay? Set your intentions. Write them down. Sometimes you forget that you have written these things down. And then you start to see them manifest. And you're like, wow, I truly had this dream. I truly had this desire. And it has come to pass. That's because your subconscious, okay, when you set that intention and you meditated on it, you have rewired your subconscious to begin to align, bring things into alignment. You have declared it into the world. Whatever you declare comes to pass. Even when you have forgotten that you declared it, it will come back, you know, to you. That's why you have to be careful what we say. It's important to be careful what you say because you never know what will be coming back. These are seeds. Okay? So with my women, the women I work with, I have my enrollment going on at the moment. It's called Passion to Purpose. And enrollment is going on. I'm registering you ladies on the program. It would be nice to see you, as many women as possible. It's a group program where we go deep down to discover the limiting beliefs. What is it that is holding you and preventing you from, you know, working in that purpose, what you have desired all your life, yet there's something holding you back. You seem to be unsure. You, you're on the sideline looking at others achieving and moving forward yet here you are unable to even make a move so on this course we are going to be going deep down and helping you to remove those hindrances to enable you forge forward and achieve to become who you've been created to be thank you everyone for watching thanks for listening and i hope you have learned one or two things from this live video if you have let me know um, and leave a message for me. I would love to hear from you. Hi, Grace. Oh, hi, Grace. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you, Grace. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's, it's great to have you on here. I'm just rounding up and I hope passion to profit. Yes, that's my new program is called passion to purpose which leads you to profit excellent thanks grace i'm glad you got that from my message awesome okay ladies i will be signing out i'm glad you can hear me because grace is just responding to my live video that's awesome okay so catch the replay watch it from the beginning that would be great till i come your way again remain blessed and remember everything you dream about is possible for you take care bye